What's going on guys, Swaggerly here, back with another video, and today guys, I'm going to be redoing uh, my class setup video for GB, SND, uh, my last one got pretty good uh, pretty good numbers, it got over 200 views, and um, so um, I figured if a bunch of people like to watch these and uh, help them out, um, then I will do it my uh, do it myself and redo it because the other one is really outdated. Things have been banned since then, and uh, so I just felt like uh, I should do an update on this. Um, now that I know the game a little bit more, I figured it would help out a lot more uh, if I did so. So I am going to get right into it. Uh, the first uh, gun I have here is a Remington, uh, pretty much the most used gun in uh, I believe competitive as far as the AR players that always use the Remington of course uh, and on it I have the red dot and muzzle brake uh, I have uh, something I've been using uh, the whole time pretty much uh, is is uh, the, the extra lethal uh, so I have ready up quick draw dead sounds focus extra lethal and then put the lethal that sums it up on every class I have the um, specialist uh, I have tech resist blast shield then slide of hand in that order uh, and uh, the the blue dot is like my, my favorite. Uh, you guys can have a preference on that, but uh, yeah. Then this is the same class except for having the grip. The grip is actually really great for the the more long range maps like Octane, uh, where you might be sitting you know a top pawn or something and have to to get in a very long range gunfight. Uh, this will steady up your gun a lot more. Uh, the grip, I mean the the muzzle brake, um, kind of you know makes you it reduces your. Uh, I think it reduces the damage or the accuracy long range. Either one, uh, this will win your up close battles, this will win your long range. So, uh, depending on, on what your strategy is for that round or that map, um, I would pick between these two. And then uh, the thermal, of course, everybody's pretty much using the thermal or whatever the site's called, uh, the thermal hybrid scope. Um, it's a pretty good scope. I don't never use it. Uh, only if people are using smokes and they're being assholes, I'll use it. And it has the same setup as far as perks and stuff go. Uh, all my ARs do. And then uh, for the submachine guns, I have an MTAR with stuns. Again, I have um, the extra lethal. Uh, so I, I kind of do the extra lethal on my on my subs, extra um, grenade on my uh, assault rifles. And this has ready up, agility, marathon, dead silence, focus. And of course, the extra tactical, the same specialist uh, strike package, um, tag resist, blast shield, sleight of hand. Um, so, this is really good for rushing up. Um, I use this for freight and stuff. Uh, I'll rush up and throw stuns and just get into their face. Um, so, I pretty much adapted a new play style. I can do, I'll do both. I'll mix it up. Um, you know, the whole thing is about tricking the enemy. Maybe uh, first round, a lot of people just uh, wait to see what you what your play style is, whether you're going to rush up on offense or defense and whatnot. And as long as you keep switching that up, you'll always keep them guessing. So, um, definitely a good thing to do, uh, even if you aren't the, the most strongest uh, submachine gun uh, player to at least you know have a class with it and be able to have the ability to do it. Uh, the next one is the exact same setup only with smokes. This will confuse the enemy as long as you see they're not using thermals or anything. Um, this would be a really good um, strategy for like octane stuff where you have the open bomb. Uh, I think it's the B bomb that's open and you can just throw some smokes and just get your plant down and get a really nice uh, setup. Uh, so you know smokes. I, I hardly ever use this. I use this. Um, you know, sometimes it's like strike zone. Uh, when I want to cross, you know, I can throw a, a smoke on one bomb, cross to the other, go inside, and you know, just you know, whatever. Uh, so just you know, if you want to cause confusion or you just have a, spe a specific strategy, uh, I would definitely use this. And then last but not least, the bison. I I, I don't I don't know if um. I don't know if like the update did something or I don't know, but a lot, you know we were playing a team the other day and. Uh, Wow, they they were melting me with a bison, and I don't know if it was just close up or what it was, but uh, this gun shoots out a lot of bullets. Reminds me of the PP uh, what 19 or PP 90 or whatever from Modern Warfare 3. Um, same setup with the extra tactical, and I have the muzzle brake and grip on it. Some people might want to use FMJ. Uh, I haven't really tested that with the FMJ, uh, but I like to have a very steady shot, so I just use the grip on it. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope this helped you guys out. I'll be doing more of these helpful videos, I guess you could say, in the future. Make sure you guys know um, the best, you know, classes. I don't know if these are the best classes in the world, but these are the ones that I use, and I've been decently successful so far. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely like it up, guys. Let me know if this helped you out. Let me know if it's if you're using it currently or whatever. But uh, anyways, guys, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Swaggerly is out. Yeah.